We know that certain viruses have been associated with folks coming down with type 1. And the other thing I'll say is, you know, many of my patients, they're always trying to figure out why they got type 1. And they'll say, yeah, I had this severe virus a few months before. And I used to say to myself, oh, they're full of it. You know, they're just trying to associate something. But they might they might have something there based on some of your research. One of the things that Teddy has found that is, that is unique is that it's really how long that infection persists. So it's not that you get a virus, but it's how long does that stay? And so we saw that you say you have a viral exposure and you know we see it in one stool sample, then you know there may be a slightly increased risk, but it's significantly different when we see it at 60 and 90 days. There's a definite increase in, in the autoimmunity. And so it's how long does that viral infection persist? We talk about the antigen, say the virus, our portion of the virus being presented to the immune system. And so the HLA region is one of the areas that decides how your body responds to those. Unfortunately, certain HLA types also increase your risk for developing autoimmune diseases like type 1 or celiac disease.